In this video, I want to demonstrate the use of the view cube so I can look at my part from various standard views. To activate the view cube, I'll push the space bar on my keyboard and the view cube opens up. I can also choose any standard view from this menu. I can tell it to give me two views of my part tiled horizontally. If I push space bar again, this menu will come back up. I can do two views vertically tiled. I'll push space bar again, or I can do four views. So I'll push spacebar one more time, go back to single view, and I can rotate around holding my middle mouse button and moving the mouse, or when I push the spacebar one more time, I get the view cube. If I don't want to see the view cube, I can come here and turn it off, and then it won't appear next time I push the spacebar. So I'll push the spacebar, there's no view cube if I don't like it. To turn it back on, I'll select this, and then the view cube comes back. So push the space bar again. I'm just going to move this window over here. I can also hold my middle mouse button and rotate around. But if I hover over one of the views, I get a preview in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So if I hover over the top, I'll get a preview of what the top looks like. And etc. as I move around the part. So if this is the view I would like, I'll click on that face. And that's the orientation I get. Again, I push the space bar, the view cube will come back, and I can choose the various orientations. So I choose my top, and I can see if I select it now, it'll look this way. If I hold my middle mouse button and I rotate around, and I would rather it be oriented this way when I show the top, I get it in the rough orientation, and then select that view, and my part will be oriented that way. So one more time, I'm going to push the space bar to activate the view cube. This time I'm going to go back and I'm just going to select the isometric view. And that's a quick look at how we use the view cube and the space bar to see the views of our part.